Okay guys, ZombieX here again, and this time, this is part 3 of part 4 of my headphone amplifiers. I don't know when part 4 is going to be up now, I still have to disconnect my rock which is in there and it's a mess of cables right now, probably not today, but for this time we're going to talk about the Woo Audio 3, which is an OTL headphone amplifier designed by Jack Wu at Wu Audio. Now, this amp for the power tube here, it accepts anything like the 6080, the 6AS7s, um, what's the other ones? 7s, 5998s, 7236s, and there's, I think there may be a couple others in there. But that's what I, I have right now. Right now I'm using the Tungsol 7236 in here, which is pretty good. It's harder to come by. And then the driver tubes here, it could take a 6922, 6DJ8s, E88, CC, ECC, E88s, and 6N1P. And I'm using 6N1P right now because I like the way they sound a little bit more than the Bugle Boys in this amp. But yeah, the tubes are pretty nice. They pop right out. Yeah. In there. And then I got this guy here. It's pretty big. But yeah. The stock power tubes they usually give you Woo Audio is just the 6080s, I believe. I bought mine used. But my amp is a little different than most of the ones you'll find. It's modified in a way it has upgraded parts on the inside. Ooh, why is it going in now? It has upgraded parts. I have upgraded like capacitors and that in here, resistors, and I have it's a it's a different power transformer than what Wu Audio gives you. They give you an 80 watt. One, and I believe the one I had put in is like 120, but I have all this different added circuitry inside of it. And that gives, it's a more powerful amp now, doing that way. But yeah, mine's a lot more powerful than the stack one you'll find out there. Also too, oh, it's heavy as hell. Go to the back. Oh. You can see I don't have left or right outlets, because I opted not to have them. Although... If the seller offered them, I would have taken them because I would have liked to see how a preamp out out of this thing would have sounded. But right now, this is a uh, model set. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh oh, something's bouncing around. Oh, what the hell is that? I don't even know what the hell that is. It was, well, something's bouncing in there. I have no idea what the hell that is now. But yeah, um, ignoring that, I'm gonna check it out after the video opens it up. But yeah, it just has the RCA inputs, and then it has the standard IEC socket there, and new fuse. You can put fuses in. I don't believe fuses help. But getting back to OTLs. This I would only use for high impedance only. Because I, I I can't measure the output impedance on this thing. I've tried with a multimeter and Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I won't do that. But it's gonna be high. I would say the output impedance of this thing is probably sixty ohms, maybe more. But even then that's pretty high. This thing I would only use with something that's like three hundred ohms to six hundred ohms personally. Anything else low impedance headphones sound muddy on this thing. They sound bloated and distorted and they just sound super rolled off. But when you give it a high impedance headphone, that's different. It, that headphone still retains all of its sonic character. Then you still get the tube sound to it too. As for the sonics go, for the price, this amp retails for $499 on their website. And I would say it's worth it. I don't know if getting the extra services to upgrade parts is worth it, because I think 
he's a little overpriced and what he charges for just switching out like a little potentiometer in the thing and that. But I think the amp was worth it if you could find it in a good price used too. Five hundred bucks new is still good. But I'd urge to go used, it's better bang for the it's better bang for the buck when you go use it on this amp. Also, too, with this amp, you got to take into consideration the weight. I, I don't have a scale on me, but this guy's, ooh, I would say 20 pounds. He's pretty heavy. <laughs> pretty darn heavy. So, I don't know how that's going to, if how you guys are going to deal with that. I mean, you got to make sure, like, you have it on a pretty solid surface. You can't put it in on a, a TV table or a thin table or something like that. It'll probably break it. <laughs> but yeah, it's the Wu Audio 3. But, uh, oh, the tube sound. And, well, I can't comment on the tube sound because I use different tubes than you guys. But it is going to be warmer, you know, more mid-range, less treble. The bass tends to round out a bit. But yeah, that's, that's... Ooh, sorry about the camera there, guys. I think it may have shifted on me. But until next time, this is Zombie X, MedFi, out.